don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know. Is this working yet? Let's see. I hope so. Do you think so? But we will find out. Zoom. Magic glasses. Magic glasses. Magic people, magic glasses, magic life, right? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. My free words, I'm so glad that I am here. Even if you're not, it's okay if I'm a crazy person that likes to sit and talk to people on the internet who, uh, you know, <laughs> even if there's nobody watching, that's okay. I'm cool with that. That's fine. I actually was like, as soon as I started like getting this live video going, I started like, um, my hands started shaking and I was like, why are my hands shaking? There's like only like one or two people that watch that the live videos anyway there's no reason to be nervous amber and then i was like okay don't be nervous then but what are you doing this for and then i'm like just do it see it's like sometimes it's so hard just to do things like that we just don't want to do and take directions from people who know better than us like i mean my um my YouTube manager knows better than I do about YouTube and algorithm and how to like get everything going and, and what I know about is just like trying to connect with my audience and so um I look what nice today or am I making that up <laughs> let me see is this for the comments or are they I am trying I saw something on the phone see I have my phone set up here and my computer right here so I have to look myself up you're so vain, Amber. You thought the song was written about you. And don't you, don't you. Okay, I won't sing. I won't cry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so guess what? I'm sideways now. Fantastic. Now am I sideways? Now, my friend, now at least can I be seen? There, like, ah. <laughs> so that's not not even not really a better view or anything, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Um, if you're here, say hi so that I know who is here. Today's been a really kind of um, just a day of like work. I woke up and I uh, took Brian to get his surgery out. Um, his surgery at his like the basically the tampons they had shoved up his nose because you know he had like nasal surgery so they had like this straw shoved up his nose and they had like a um they looked like like two giant like tampons like in the nose they were so weird and gross and I watched him pull those out of it. it's like pulling your brains out of your nose is what it feels like I'm assuming and he had to do that and he it wasn't happy about it, but I did film it for you. Yeah, so, um, did that, brought him back home. He's feeling like a little bit better today. And I can see that Devin is posting something, but I can't see what it is. And I don't know why. Oh, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning to. <laughs> I'm like, well, I should not. Oh, there's where the, okay, because I can't see where the comments are. There they are. Okay, who's here? Hi. Okay, so we have Renata, we have Devin, we, we have Rahul. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so yes, God's wraps, four inches of God's. It feels so weird when they did that to you, Devin. Oh, it, it was like, it was really it it was graphic like it I, I was actually putting the footage together to um because I'm editing right now and and I'm going to show in the video pro it's probably gonna be I don't know in a couple of days I'll show this video after he heals a little bit more because <laughs> right now he's kind of in asshole like mode he's like totally not even being nice or himself he's just moody and in pain so anyway he's healing so here's what I was thinking. I was thinking, let's do something different and weird. And I started like looking around while my hands were shaking when it's getting ready to um, come live. And I was like, <laughs> I saw this on my shelf and I was like, what is Cornhusker's lotion? Now, 
here's the funny thing about this. I went out and I bought this corn huskers lotion, but I didn't get it with a buy it with hair on it. You guys. Um, I went out and I got this corn huskers lotion because I thought it like looked like a cool like old vintagey bottle kind of thing. So I saw it at the grocery store and I put it in the cart and that was like six months ago and I haven't even looked it up to see what it's for or anything yet. But then I was like, okay, look it up and see what it is. And there are a few uses for corn huskers. Let's try a few, shall we? First, I'm gonna open it and see how it smells. It's called Corn Huskers Lotion. And look, it's kind of like slimy. I don't know if, you, can you see that? It's like, ugh. Oh, thank you very much, Raul. That's very nice of you. Slime all the pretty. Oh, it smells like, um. Like if I had a grandma, this would probably be like what she smells like. Oh, I do have a grandma, but I don't know what she smells like. Let's see. I don't. <laughs> anyway, I got some on me. I don't know what the name of this stuff is, or like, well, I know what the name of it is. I don't know what it's like. It's supposed to. It's kind of like a like a scent of like perfumey kind of like the kind of perfume like that you smell on a lady on a bus kind of perfume, not the good kind. But, okay, so I'm gonna put some in my hand. Because this stuff's gotta be used for something. Ew. You see that? Inappropriate. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's like, it goes on like a gel. It is not a lotion at all. I'm very pissed off. That is not cool. So they're like, you can use the corn huskers lotion in your hair for frizzy parts. Obviously. I need it. So I'm going to put corn huskers in my hair, but it doesn't feel good even putting it in. What are you guys doing today? You know, I, so I had to, I did that with Brian. I went and took him in and, um, I've been editing this other video, which I, I'm really trying to do like some cool artistic videos. And so this next video that I'm editing, is kind of different. It's kind of like, you know, there's the, whoops, how am I going to hold on to this? Whoop, 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 whoop. How do you put this into your hair without spilling it? <laughs> corn huskers, corn huskers. Ew. Did you cut your hair? No, it just looks short. <laughs> it just looks short. My hair looks uh, short right now because it just does, doesn't it? Wait, does it look short right now? No, oh, it, it, it goes down to here. So, I mean, it's it's considered long hair, but but now it's a, not just long hair, it's corn huskers hair. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, this stuff is like, I don't know. I keep putting it in because I'm doing, you know, for you, I want to like experiment with this kind of weird stuff. Ew. And what is in this? Like, do you guys, <laughs> obviously there must be some kind of corn in it, but aren't you supposed to be eating the corn? Um, their side effects of using it, of using corn huskers. Okay, so I'm reading the chat right now and Devin just says that there's some side effects of this stuff. Thanks, Devin. Took you long enough to look it up. You're supposed to be like monitoring me during this little stuff, but thanks for looking it up. Am I gonna die? Is my hair gonna fall out completely? Like, did I just screw my life up? Corn huskers. Corn huskers, corn huskers. You know, here's like what's the funniest thing to me is, um, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> you're weirder. <laughs> okay, um, it's not bad. It's just don't go tanning. You know, I don't tan very much anyway. Like, look, I'm in the sun like a lot because of my pool, and like this is about as dark as I get. I'm still trying to get used to having this on my arm. I kind of feel like I look like a biker now. Do I look like a biker? Like a tough, like biker kind of person? But with no bike? <laughs> like I feel like I'm, I don't know. Okay, I was gonna tell you this, this funny thing about, uh, that you just reminded me of um, when you looked up the stuff, Devin. Um, so I have this friend that I used to like, like I don't do this anymore at all. And I say, do not do drugs. I am. Um, but I have done a lot of drugs and I'm just being raw and authentic. I told my story in the Demi Lovato video. If you didn't see it, it's on this channel. And so, yeah, I was a, a big drug addict. And, 
one's a drug addict, always a drug addict. Maybe, but you know, I'm just like not a using like drug addict. Um, but anyway, so I was smoking crack with this um, friend of mine back in the day, and we were sitting there, we were talking, and she's like, you know, I, I have like all of this like really deep acne, and it's like it won't go away. And I was like, yeah, I had it too, but I took Accutane, which is like this other very strong, like kind of dangerous drug. Um, and it went away and it really helped me. It was a really dangerous kind of like a strong drug that, you know, I, I don't recommend unless you really look into it, but I had really bad acne. It's why I have, you know, the acne scarring right here and right here is from, is from that. Um, my skin feels smooth because I, I shaved my face today for like the second time ever. I. I'm new to the whole shaving your face as a girl thing. Oh, wait. So I'm just like, it feels like smoother. Smooth. Okay, back to the story. So, <laughs> so we were sitting there and she's like complaining about her skin and I was like, just try Accutane, you should try it. And she's like, no, I've heard some really bad things about like, you know, the side effects and the health benefits of like, you know, doing Accutane. Then she starts smoking crack again. I'm, and I'm like, Okay, so you'll put the crack in your body to make you feel kind of good or weird or dead, but you won't, uh, you're just not going to do the Accutane under a doctor's guidance. That makes total sense. And, um, yeah, so she never did, uh, and she still actually has really bad acne, and I think that she could have, like, cleared it up really pretty easily with Accutane. Now, Accutane, what I did, that was like over 10 years ago, so I don't know what the new updated thing is for skincare, except for I do know that there is corn huskers, corn huskers, where did that song come from in my head? <laughs> okay, and so also another thing that you're supposed to use corn huskers for is your feet. So here we go again. Da, da, da. I'm gonna put it all over my feet. Okay. I'm going crazy. Ew, now I'm corn huskers. I know now even like um Baker dogs like scratching Hey Baker, you're allergic to corn. So I don't know what is in this. I uh, I think that now I've rubbed it all over my body and on my feet and, and on my hair and maybe like some on my face that I've, now that's done, now's a good time to look at the directions and see if it's dangerous. I mean, Devin says it's dangerous, but who can believe Devin? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, it's got water, glycerin, alcohol. Ooh, you can drink it. Um, <laughs> Align, deoxycol, sarcosine, methapacodrodin, little Mr. Hansen, bolarina, apa, lupus, nopica, octopus, the petalichico, body, curated gum, fragrance, calcium, sulfate, calcium chloride. I didn't hear corn. Did you guys hear corn? Where's the corn? Okay, so Devin says to wash your hands so I don't accidentally rub my eyes. Do you know what that makes me want to do, Devin? Do you know what that makes me want to do? That makes me want to rub my eyes. What do you think about that? <laughs> it's like, I just have to like do stuff like that. I'm gonna like be, I'm uh, <laughs> gonna be taking a really cool like seaweed kind of like bath thing tonight and when I say seaweed I mean kind of like a bunch of dandelions from the yard that I'll just go ahead and throw in the tub so that I feel like I'm a fancy seaweed bath kind of girl but I don't know I am feeling kind of weird today um and no I have not had any of the amazing and fantastic drugs that Brian is on he's completely passed out I feel so bad for him but this is so good he's gonna be able to like breathe um I'm looking back here because I've been like clearing out uh, everything too. Like I'm clearing out and getting rid of half of everything I own. And when I say that, like I'm not saying like, oh, I'm just gonna throw a few things away. Like I have been going through my house um, in the last few days and I have like um, 
barrels full of clothes and like uh, pictures and, and just things like, so everything's kind of like out of place right now and like disorganized because there's always chaos before the good parts is th that's what I believe to be true. So um, kind of like the universe will like kind of like test you, go and shake things up for you like right before something really good happens. That's what I think is happening right now with this kind of chaos that's going on all around me. But I'm just like taking away half of my stuff and getting rid of it because it just kind of will like lighten my load of like how I feel as a human being. I think I would, I've been kind of just like collecting too many things to make me feel better, kind of like to like fill that inside hole or that void or that God space or whatever it is, you know? So I um, have a lot of fucking stuff. God, stop cursing Amber. This is going to be a family channel. No, it's not. I'll never be like a family person for like the regular family person because I cuss. But you know what? Hey, Gary Vaynerchuk, he curses all the time. And people with high morals, they like him and he cusses. Like, he cusses like blah, blah, blah. People love him. But then if I cuss, then I'm a bad, bad person. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I'm getting rid of all of my stuff. It's it's weird going to, like through things and you're like, hey, do I need this? Do I like this? Do I want it? Does it mean, you know, and like there's this whole different thing, this ritual of like, do I really love this thing? If, if I don't love it and if I don't use it, then I'm just going to like throw it away. Oh, so it seems like I live in a museum. I do live in a museum, basically. This is kind of like a museum from like the 1970s because I do have a lot of like art and collectibles and things in the house that are, um, you know, pretty amazing and fantastic things. I am a collector of like really cool things and I'm keeping all of the really cool things. It's just sometimes I've, you know, when you have things in your house, you've got to like, like switch them out, get rid of them and, and like give somebody else in the universe, like a chance where they get to enjoy it too. And just like clear out your space because think about this, like how many things do you go out and you buy? Versus how many times do you uh, like purge? And I go shopping all the time. You guys, you know that because I've shared some videos about it. And, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. So if I'm not smoking crack, I'm out there shopping. <laughs> I say this whole smoking crack thing as a joke, by the way. I am not a crack smoker. I did try crack for a month straight. It was an awful month, but, I w but it was over... 15 years ago. I just like saying it just like kind of like for shock effect like crack this crack that because it kind of like people like they're, they're like crack I'm like well, I don't even know if it was crack. It was like cooked cocaine. I don't know who knows I mean, I'm watching the show snowfall So I'll learn a little bit more about drugs from that uh, Or not it says that you should do an open gallery with all your paintings. Ab I know I I I have heard that from many people. I actually was just offered 3000 for um, a painting that I have in the front library room and I said no because I'm just not at the stage where I want to um, get rid of any of the art because I am going to have an art show and certain pieces belong to a collection where I would like to put the entire collection out as the show you know for like a theme and of course then the buyers from that show can take it away it's kind of like a little like a bunch of uh, puppies, you know, like my paintings are my puppies. I have a whole bunch of them and I want to get rid of them and give them away and give them amazing homes because I can't take care of all of them. But, you know, I want to take the pu puppies together so they can do their little like uh, show and the exhibit and the gallery and then be like, boom, you know. So, so what's with the eight ball? I don't know. I don't play pool. If he's talking about, I just got like an eight ball emoji. If he's talking about any other kind of eight ball? I don't know. So, speaking of the drugs things um, and the life things, I, um, I'm just going to point on something that I've... Oh, who inspires you to make your paintings? The thing is about my paintings, Renata, it's interesting. I have to paint or I get upset. Like, if I'm... If I can't create something, I go into, like, this really dark place of um I mean my depression it, it gets so so bad 
when I'm not creating. And so when I have like a, bi a giant canvas like out and I can just get like lost to just like paint and put like the colors on the canvas and create it and mix them up. And you know, I use a lot of my hands and stuff. Then it's just, it just feels good. And so, and then I look back and every once in a while I'm like, I see a finished painting. And so Brian, sometimes he'll catch those moments when there's a finished painting and I'll come out and be like, stop painting because what I do is I just keep going and I will keep painting and keep painting over it and over it and changing it and over and over. And so Brian actually has to come and say, okay, it's done. Like, because I will just keep on going and going and going. So I do, yeah, I just express myself through painting. But here's another thing that I express myself through my vlogs too. And I'm trying to be able to express more of me and the ones that I'm editing. And so, I'm just gonna like let it out to the world like who I am and I'm just like, oh, I'm a weirdo and I'm not like every person I'm supposed to be like you know I have my ups and my downs I get depressed I get um, you know I have bad days I have good days I have um, you know a lot of experience and things that I've been through so that I can you know hopefully help and inspire others like to have learned some things from my bad examples you know because I um, I feel like I didn't live the kind of life that I lived just to, like that it wasted away. And so I put all of those emotions and everything that I have in from my past and I put it into like the paintings, you know, like just like, I don't know. And the paintings, like they all mean so many different things here. I'll show you I'm, what I'm looking at here. Like, okay, it's a mess. Remember how I just told you guys that I was like, going away stuff. Also remember Brian's recovering from his surgery so I slept here in my office last night um, because so just ignore the mess is what I'm basically trying to tell you. If you want me to tell you about my painting you gotta ignore my mess. Alright so I'm going to show you like this painting here like it's kind of I've never really explained like one of my paintings before or anything but like okay so like this is like the stripper girl and I've like when I was like really little, I used to like draw these kinds of girls. And so that's what this reminds me of. But I would make them like princesses. And I always would do like a draw them all the same. Like I'm like, and, then just, and the curve, it just like, it just happens so fast when I'm, when I'm painting that I don't really pay any attention to detail. So that's why I like to create art like this is because you don't have to pay attention to detail. The details just come like naturally. Like, you know, she's got like, probably 12 different colors of blue through her hair. She's got the blue eyes. Okay, so upside down right here, it says doll, and there's a money symbol. So that represents all of that is like, like for the dollhouse, which are like the name of some strip clubs that were in Florida that I went to when I was like 17 years old with a fake ID. So that's what that's for. This says pretty. And it's like Pretty Baby, which is one of my really, one of my favorite movies with Brooke Shields is Pretty Baby. So I get really inspired by that whole soiled dove scene. Um, all of the flowers are just to like pop and bring out like the beauty of, of you know, her. And that heart is just like all of her love. It says itsy bitsy because she's got on that yellow polka dot bikini. It says yellow polka dot bikini right there. Then here's the number 27 because a lot of um, a lot of musicians and artists die at 27. It's just a weird thing or they kill themselves or they die or if you make it past 27 then you're pretty lucky. Also, my birthday's the 27th so uh, 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 all about me. Why'd I do that? You're so weird Amber. You're so weird. And anyway, so um, her heart is only half full though because there's still an empty space just like Stuart Little the little mouse says. Cute little mouse. Um, there's hearts through it. Um, the soul is like that she's basically she's selling herself and her body like like, like that she's like a doll because she's like a dancer, a stripper and in her yellow polka dot bikini and it's just like the flashing lights um, with the arrow like her life's going down but the money and the chaos and the pretty flowers and the life you think can be is all around 
And then I also made the choice to put it all on yellow to brighten it and make like kind of like that dark strip club kind of like feel bright with bright bold colors. Like at first I painted it with regular paints too and then I went back and I added in the um, paints that glow in the dark to make it like so in the dark it kind of like but you can see too that there's like some staining and there's the stripes of the American flag behind there that you don't see going on because of some political things that were behind it and all of that. So basically, aren't you glad you asked? Aren't you glad you asked? So yeah, that's, that is that. And let's see, yeah, I mean, it looks like that is you in your other life. Could be. Could be. Man, I look like I was screwed up in my other life then because my eyes were like this. <laughs> so, on that note, I'm going to say, if you guys are here and then you're watching, please do me a favor and look below or beside or up or down or wherever and like and subscribe to this channel. Like, subscribe for the Amber Vibe. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, this is me energized when I've been just like going, 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 um, trying to get rid of half of everything I own <laughs> and helping Brian with his surgery and the four dogs and videos and editing and da, 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 da. So, I love you guys. Be good to each other. You are all so amazing, awesome, and fantastic. Um, Renata, you have a great evening, too. Um, short movie was awesome. Thank y'all. <laughs> um, oh, you guys, have a great weekend. I'm going to be here tomorrow uh, at the same time until I figure out if I'm going to do a different time or if I'm just going to keep on doing this time. I may just keep on doing this time because I need to do something consistent in my life and finish something, right? Like, finish already. I'm going to finish this video. I love you guys. Mwah. Fly free.